Welcome to Keep Up News Channel. The eight club list of teams who gave evidence against Man City in their legal fight with the Premier League over inflated sponsor deals, as Arsenal and Man United lead the divided league. On Monday, Manchester City won a landmark legal victory against the Premier League after judges ruled that some of the competition's sponsorship rules are unlawful. The Associated Party Transactions, APTs, Regulations are intended to prevent companies associated with the owners of football clubs from deliberately paying over the odds for deals with the clubs themselves. The rules were brought in following the Saudi takeover of Newcastle United in an attempt to stop wealthy owners from using these link-ups to boost their team's revenues so they can spend more money without breaking financial fair play rules. In City's case, the rules led the Premier League to reject a new sponsorship deal the club had lined up with Etihad late in 2023 as well as a second agreement with an Abu Dhabi-based bank. A panel of three retired judges has now ruled the league was wrong to stop the deals because elements of the ADP regulation breaches the Competition Act. It's now been revealed that eight of the current top-flight teams provided evidence against the Premier League champions, including Arsenal and Man United. Along with City's two rivals, Wolves, Liverpool, West Ham, Brentford, Bournemouth and Fulham all provided evidence against Pep Guardiola's side. City's next match, which takes place at Molyneux on October 20, sees them take on Wolves, which could lead to a frosty affair in the director's box. The decision will send shockwaves through English football and is being seen as a major blow for Premier League chief executive Richard Masters because it will change the direction of the league's future financial governance. It could even affect future results by making it easier for clubs with super-rich owners to arrange lucrative sponsorship deals, as well as making it easier to buy and sell players between clubs with the same owners. City, which is owned by a firm linked to Abu Dhabi's ruling family, are currently facing 115 charges of breaking Premier League financial rules in a separate legal case. The club took the league to court earlier this year, claiming APTs were unfair. In a statement, City said, Manchester City Football Club thanks the distinguished members of the arbitral tribunal for their work and considerations, and welcomes their findings. In a statement of no fewer than 1,248 words, the Premier League said it welcomed the panel's findings, which endorsed the overall objectives, framework and decision-making of the APT system. It added, the tribunal did, however, identify a small number of discrete elements of the rules which do not in their current form, comply with competition and public law requirements. These elements can quickly and effectively be remedied by the league and clubs. The statement added that the APT system would continue to operate taking into account the findings made by the tribunal. City had argued that such payments were unfair and not at market value as they were often at zero or no interest or did not have to be repaid at all. If commercial rates are now applied, and those loans included in clubs' profit and sustainability accounts, many could find themselves in breach of financial regulation in what could be a nightmare scenario that would heap pressure on Premier League bosses. The verdict could also open the door for City and others to pen significantly higher deals with related parties. The bombshell findings, seen by Mail Sport, were delivered in a 175-page report to clubs this afternoon. It remains to be seen what happens next. City are expected to seek costs and damages, while the Premier League are expected to have to amend or dump the system entirely. Other clubs could also seek damages should they believe they have been impacted. The panel ruled the league was wrong to reject, under ADP rules, a wide-ranging new sponsorship deal City had lined up with Etihad late last year. City's previous 10-year deal with the Abu Dhabi-based airline features heavily in the separate case on the 115 charges. The stopping of another deal with an Abu Dhabi-based bank was also branded procedurally unfair. City's expensively assembled legal team led by Lord Panic, the KC spearheading City's defense against the 115, launched a series of claims against APT rules, many of which centered on the element that deals had to represent what the league deemed fair market value, FMV. They claimed rules were designed to end their reign of success and were the result of a tyranny of the majority. While many of their claims were rejected, they scored victories in no fewer than seven key arguments. City had only needed to show the rules were unlawful for one reason. The panel found the rules in breach of competition law by object, a serious and damning infringement. 
While the APT rules were brought in after the time period involved in the 115 charges, the panel's findings may well trigger panic among cities' rivals across the league, with concerns already raised over costs. Within the ruling, it also emerged that Arsenal, Manchester United, Liverpool, and West Ham gave evidence in favor of the Premier League, along with Brentford, Bournemouth, Fulham, and Wolves. The panel consisting of Sir Nigel Tier, a retired High Court judge, Christopher Vita K.C., a former judge of the European Court of Justice and Lord Dyson, former justice of the Supreme Court, also found the rules unlawful because clubs could not comment on data from other deals relied on by the Premier League before it determined whether a deal was at fair market value. The Etihad verdict was procedurally unfair and must be set aside because City did not have the opportunity to respond to the Premier League's analysis before it reached its decision. The deal with First Abu Dhabi was also unfair because City were not given details of transactions with other clubs the Premier League referred to in its final decision and that there was an unreasonable delay of around three months. Among their arguments, City said the changes were down to fearmongering after the Saudi takeover at Newcastle. They had also claimed that the rules were specifically aimed at Gulf-owned clubs, citing an email from one club on behalf of 11 in total, but the panel found that not to be the case. The panel members also made a number of findings in support of the amendments, with the ex-judges pointing out that there was a sufficient evidential basis for the Premier League to conclude that the old rules were ineffective in controlling APTs. They dismissed many of City's five claims, stating that fair market value, FMV, while not an exact science, was an inherent part of profit and sustainability rules, and that there was no element of price fixing nor an unclear criteria. But that will be of little consolation to the league or city's rivals. Last week, Mail Sport reported how the last minute withdrawal of a proposed amendment to APT rules was dropped from a Premier League meeting agenda in what had been interpreted as a clear indication of which way the case had gone. The Premier League's case against City over 115 alleged breaches of financial rules is now in its third week of an expected 10. Should the club be found guilty, it could lead to vast fines, or even relegation for Pep Guardiola's side. However, while there may be no direct impact, City officials have delivered a bloody nose to the competition and will no doubt hope the ruling sets a clear precedent. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.